The big question is, does ethanol help the planet or hurt it? Studies, lots of scientific studies. But who to believe? First, does it take more energy to make ethanol than we get out of it? There's the energy spent on irrigation, the water, all that water, 25 to 50 gallons just to grow one ear of corn. There's the fertilizer made using fossil fuels, applied by tractors powered by fossil fuels. Then there's the ethanol plant, usually powered by coal or natural gas. Then move all that ethanol to the oil refinery. How clean and green is ethanol then? On the other side, the pro-ethanol folks say the critics keep forgetting about the distiller's grain, the byproduct that makes, they say, some great animal feed. That deserves an energy credit for all the food it's adding back into the system. And besides, just like a lot of conservation-minded people, they're finding new ways to make their operations more energy efficient every year. Now let's talk about the carbon problem. Here's a field. Let's consider it virgin prairie. If you're counting your carbon, that's a carbon sink. It absorbs carbon dioxide, and that's good. But if you're converting an acre of, say, prairie grass to a cornfield, taking a plow to it releases lots of carbon dioxide. The cornfield grabs some of the carbon, but it'll be years before it can capture it all back again. In defense of the farmers, no-till farming and winter cover crops help keep more carbon in the ground. Researchers generally agree ethanol does help bring down tailpipe emissions. How much? It depends on what study you want to believe. And no matter what you're driving, you're still leaving some kind of carbon footprint. The bottom line. More ethanol, the way we do it now, means more corn, which means more carbon. And that contributes to climate change. <laughs>